What is up? This is our talks. My name is Grim, and I hope you're having a great day. Now that we are in the Gothic art period and a little out of order in terms of the eras we've been covering, my apologies, I would like to cover a painting by an artist previously mentioned in my last video, Simone Martini, born in 1284 and died in 1344. Hailing from Siena, Italy, Martini may have been the most important artist in the region at the time of his involvement in art. An abundant amount of information about Martini is unknown due to the fact that documentation was never recorded or has been destroyed. I apologize in advance for any names I mispronounce. I'll try my best. <laughs> Guido Riccio da Faliano at the Siege of Montemassi is the title of today's fresco, which can be found in the Sala del Mampomondo, a commemorative room in the Palazzo Publico in Siena. Guido Riccio da Faliano at the Siege of Montemassi is the depiction of a 14th century captain in the Republic of Siena and his victory in Montemassi and the taking of two castles as shown. In addition, at the bottom of the fresco, the year of the conquest is on view in Roman numerals as 1328. It's speculated that the work was painted in the year 1330, but historians have since often debated if the fact is true. Conversations have even been known to take place questioning if Martini is even the original artist. But this argument was not taken too seriously. This matter has remained unsolved, though the painting remains attached to Martini's name. The horseman himself, da Falonio, was born in the year 1290 and speculated to have died in his 60s in the year 1352. He led many battles where most ended in victories, yet da Falonio was still ousted. Despite that, he arose and became the chief magistrate of the town of Verona, later allowed to return to Siena, passing away one year after his return. So what do I like about this painting? I like the use of patterns on the man and the horse, among, among other things. Another reason why I like this is because the Sienese government commissioned Martini for the fresco as an artistic way to display their triumph in battle. So this may have been propaganda from the Middle Ages and I like the idea that this might have been viewed in that light. I also like the scene of battle even though at a glance it doesn't look too action heavy. Alright, how does this one make me feel? I get a sense of eagerness from wanting more. I would like to see this in motion, like maybe a movie on this story. That may be just be me though. Well, that's going to be it for me. I've never been one for the Middle Ages, but I'm liking the artwork. Let me know what you think of the Siege of Matamasi. I'm interested to know what you think. If you have any comments or if you have any feedback, drop them below. Tell me what you liked or what you didn't like. Hope to see you next time, hit subscribe for more, and have a nice day. Peace.